In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the equation of a line given the gradient and one point. So the question asks, find an equation of the straight line with the gradient 3 passing through the point 2, negative 4. The first thing that I'm going to do is highlight the key information. So I know the gradient is 3 and the point at which it passes is 2, negative 4. Now I'm going to write the equation y equals mx plus c and down the side I'm going to list what I have so y equals m equals x equals and c equals well I know the gradient is 3 so m is equal to 3 I have a y as negative 4 from the coordinates don't forget this is an x this one is a y I have uh, an x which is 2 and C I don't know so in this question here all I'm trying to figure out is what the C value is I'm just going to write it out again so y equals mx plus C and again the values were y m x and C so it was negative 4 gradient was 3 x was 2 and C is what we're trying to find out so if we now substitute these values into this equation right here, it's negative 4 equals 3 multiplied by x, which is 2, plus c. We just expand the brackets. Negative 4 equals 3 times by 2 is 6, plus c. Now, we need, to see, we need the c on its own, so I'm going to transpose the 6 to the other side. Alternatively, you can minus 6 from both sides using the balance method so negative 4 minus 6 is negative 10 and on this side is c so our value for c is negative 10 if you want to check whether that's correct you can simply substitute the c into the whole equation as well so negative 4 equals 6 minus 10 so it's going to be negative 4 equals 6 subtract 10, which is also negative 4. And as you can see, that balances. So that's correct. So now that we've found all of our values, we can actually create the equation that we were trying to do to start off with. So it's y equals mx plus c. Um, we never have to put the y in. We just have to put the gradient and the y-intercept. So it's y equals gradient is 3x plus what well is plus negative 10 but that of course cancels out so it's y equals 3x minus 10 that's the equation that we were looking for well now this time i'm going to say the gradient is equals 4 and going through the point 3 6 so again i'm going to list what i have y equals 6 from here, uh, the m equals 4, I already know the gradient, x is 3, taken from the brackets, and c, we have no idea, that's what we're trying to work out. So, y equals mx plus c, um, what we do know is that that's 6 equals 4 multiplied by 3 plus c, 6 equals 12 plus c and again take 12 away from both sides you're going to have negative 6 equals c so so far we have an answer of negative 6 just to double check that um, our y is 6 equals and don't forget here we had 12 plus negative 6 now don't forget a positive and negative sign next to each other means it turns into a negative so that's 12 minus 6 12 minus 6 is 6 and as you can see it balances so that's also correct so now that we found our values which is 6 4 3 negative 6 I'm just going to go into another slide so it's 6 4 let's go back 3 and negative 6 3 and negative 6, that's y, m, 
xc. Now we can find our equation. So y equals mx plus c, y equals 4x plus minus 6. Well, if you've got a positive and negative next to each other, that becomes 4x minus 6. Just going to make a final example. Uh, this time the gradient is going to be negative. So gradient equals negative 5. The points are, let's go for negative 1 and 3. So again, list what you have. Y equals 3. Uh, M equals negative 5. X equals negative 1. C is what we are trying to work out. So y equals mx plus c, um, that's 3 equals negative 5 multiplied by negative 1 plus c. So 3 equals, so negative 5 times by negative 1 becomes positive, 2 negatives multiplied together make a positive, so that's going to be 5 plus c. If we transpose the 5 to the other side, so we're going to subtract 5 from both sides, so 3 subtract 5 is negative 2. Our answer for C equals negative 2. Again, we can double check this. So 3 equals 5 plus minus 2. That's 3 equals 5. Don't forget a positive and negative sign next to each other becomes a negative. So that's 5 minus 2. And 3 equals 5 minus 2, which is 3, and that balances. Therefore, that's correct. So now that we've got our values over here, we can actually write out the equation. So it should be in the form y equals mx plus c. Um, it's going to stay as y equals, all we have to do is fill in the m and the c. So m is negative 5x plus, and the c is negative 2. So I'm just going to go back a step because a positive and a negative makes a negative. So it's going to be uh, negative 5x minus 2. That's the final answer for that one.